Hi, my name is Diana De Carvalho. I'm an assistant professor at the Faculty of Medicine at Memorial University of Newfoundland. I head up the Spine Biomechanics Lab where we study the effect of sitting on our backs. It's kind of timely right now considering that the majority of us are doing our part to flatten the curve by working from home. So you might find yourself sitting a lot more than normal and have some questions about that. Recent work from our lab has shown that sitting for short periods of time, one to two hours, doesn't appear to change the way our back functions, which is really great news. We are though still concerned and actively researching the effect of, of longer periods of exposures or accumulation of sitting time on the way our back functions. We also have found that there are some people that have a pretty strong pain response when they do sit. So based on this, we have two big messages for Canadians. Number one is if you are the type of person that has pain when you sit, to listen to your body and try to move before any of that pain starts to set in. And number two, all of us need to balance the amount of time that we're sitting with the amount of physical activity that we get in. Right now, we're not going into work. We're not walking to and from our car up and down stairs or around town to run errands. So it's that much more important for us to um, get enough physical activity in to balance our sitting time. That could be going for a walk, exercising at home, dancing like nobody's watching, or even doing some housework, but we have to find some way to balance our sitting time. Finally, I just wanna send a huge thank you to the essential workers that have continued to work during this crisis to keep us safe, healthy, and fed. And to everybody, we're in this together. My lab and I, we're working from home. It's not ideal, but it's definitely better to keep everybody safe. So thank you very much, take care, and stay active.